Hey everybody, uh, today I want to show you a new package that I've been working on called Inertia Table. And it's kind of my third table package. So I built one first for Inertia, then I moved over to Splait, and now I'm building a brand new one for Inertia, and specifically for Vue.js and Laravel, of course. So uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look. This is my uh, users table. So I can uh, search for a user, of course, maybe uh, let's search for, uh, for Eddie. And we can also search by an email address. So maybe Medi. Yeah, that all works. Uh, of course, I can uh, reorder the table. So now it's sorted by name. That's the default, but I can also sort it in descending order or maybe sort the email addresses. Um, you can also hide a column. For example, this, uh, this company column, um, each user uh, is related to a company or not. Some are not set. Um, so I can hide that and I can bring it back with this drop down menu. Um, and one cool thing that I ported over from the Splait package is bulk actions. So here in the action menu, I have activate and deactivate to toggle the, uh, the email verification date. So if I select, for example, this one and maybe these two, I can go to the drop down menu and hit activate. And there you see the date popping up. And this of course also work, works for selecting all rows in the table. Um, let's sort this one by name and let's take a look at filters. So the previous package also had filters, but now it's a little bit cooler. So I can filter by name and let's say I want to search for names containing burn. Um, so now I've got all names that somewhere have burn in them, but in this uh, package, we can also change the class. So now we can maybe switch to starts with. And then we have all users that start with burn. And we can add, add the second filter, for example, email. And there we could say the email address should end with uh, .NET. And yeah, there we have it. So that's quite cool. Um, you can also sort by a relation. So yeah, it's quite easy to, uh, to do that as well. And you can even... Um, uh, filter by, by a relation. So I could uh, add that company filter and uh, could select the company here, maybe this one. And of course, yeah, you can also uh, maybe filter out all the all users that don't have a company. Um, that doesn't seem to work yet. Yeah. Don't know why that doesn't work. That's a good reason that's not released yet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I should fix that, of course, before I'm releasing this. Um, what more can I show you? Yeah, of course, we've got pagination. You can select the number of rows on the table. And ah, yeah, we also have uh, an Excel export so that uh, you can fully customize it, but uh, it's just one line of code. You can activate this button and then it just uh, creates an export for you. So let's uh, switch to the editor and let's let's see uh, what it looks like. So this is my user controller. It's rather simple. It's just a regular inertia page. And I'm passing this users table object, which will, uh, or the, the, the class, which we will take a look at, look at in a minute. Let's open the component. Um, here you can see it's just the table component and I'm passing uh, that user's property. So what does this uh, class look like? Uh, we need to set a resource, which is just the eloquent model. Um, we have a default uh, sort. We have this uh, search array with name and email, and that defines how you can search uh, in this text input. Here you can specify all the columns. So you can, of course, uh, uh, configure it to be toggleable or to be sortable. Uh, there are more options, of course. Here we have the filters. So we have text filters, set filters, uh, Boolean date filters, and uh, it's quite easy to pass options to the, um, to the set filter. Um, and here you can see, by the way, that we are searching for that relation. So if I open my user model 
you can see that I uh, here have a company relation. Uh, so yeah, the user belongs to a company. Here we have those bulk actions. So you can simply specify a label and then uh, with a callback specify uh, what, the, what the action should do. And we, here we have an export. So that by default, it's an Excel export, but you can also export to CSV or PDF or yeah, you can customize uh, this all. And you can also, like I said, customize how it's exported. So you can actually do things like uh, export as, uh, export format, expat style. So you can uh, like make columns bold or have a specific Excel styling. Uh, that all works out of the box. Um, these are properties, but you could also use functions. So if you have like a more uh, a more complex query builder, um, then you can use that as well. For example, if you have uh, something like um, resource, uh, you could do something like return user query. And maybe you want, uh, want a table only with admins or something like that, then you can do this as well. So yeah, that's a first look at the package. Um, I'm gonna release it in like uh, maybe one or two weeks. So yeah, um, follow me on Twitter, on X, YouTube, and uh, um, I'll notify you when it's ready. So yeah, until next time, bye-bye.